Hello my loves, how are you doing? Today's video is gonna be something slightly different. I'm doing a makeup tutorial, which I've never done before, so bear with me. I thought this would just be fun to film. I love a clean girl aesthetic makeup, so I thought today we'd sit down, have a little chill out, chat, and I'll just show you all the makeup products that I use. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this style of video. I love you very much and I hope you enjoy. See you in a minute. Do you know what? This is kind of like a surprise video because I wasn't going to upload anything this week and then I thought I want to do my makeup. I have multiple comments on my channel all the time and in my DMs actually of people asking me what my kind of like go-to makeup routine is so I thought let's do that right now. Why not? So that is what today's video is. We're going to sit down, have a little chill. I will show you my clean girl, chilled out, easy makeup routine. I love wearing makeup. Makeup is so much fun. I love choosing all the different colors. I love collecting pieces. I love like just putting it on. Something about makeup makes me feel a little bit more confident as well. But I do try and aim for a makeup look that is natural. I often, will use things that are lighter products. I like to basically try and enhance my features and make me feel a little bit more confident without changing myself. Because I do actually like myself. I just feel like, you know, I've got a couple of red patches. I have quite dark under eyed circles from the chronic illness. For those of you that know, you know. <laughs> You're chronic illness girly. We all suffer with the under eye bags. That is just part of being sick all the time. So we're gonna sit down. I thought I'd chat to you, show you my favorite makeup looks and uh, we'll get on it. I think my makeup look is sort of a clean girl aesthetic and by clean girl aesthetic, it is very much like a Pinterest, you know, super simple, fairly dewy, bright, healthy look, which is kind of hilarious because your girl is not healthy in the sense of like, you know, being chronically sick. But <laughs> we're just gonna get straight onto it. I just feel like we might as well. Before we actually get into using makeup itself, the first thing that we should always do, or I always do anyway, I'm putting this out there, I am not a makeup artist. I don't know what I'm doing. I just do what I think looks all right. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually skincare. We're gonna do a little bit of skincare. The skincare that I like to do, I wanna mention, if you do skincare before makeup, leave it on for like 20, 30 minutes before you do your makeup, because I used to find I would do my skincare, put my makeup straight on it, and then it would like rub off, and it would go like cakey and flaky and strange. The reason it does that is because you have to actually let the skincare set on your face, and then you can put stuff on top of it, otherwise it doesn't set, and then it just sits under it, and it goes ugh, so not worth it, don't do that. I have already washed my face with a CeraVe cleanser, I'm gonna quickly go in with this Naturally Radiant Toner by Superdrug. Don't mind the fact that I have like injured myself. I um, If you're wondering why I'm looking over here, it's because there's a mirror over here. I basically, oh, there's a very loud plane. Basically caught it on a broken tile in a bathroom and it completely shredded my finger. So that hurts quite a lot and I can't bend it. The next thing we're gonna use in terms of skincare, I don't do much skincare. It is literally just to provide like some kind of base is I got sent this and I really like it. It's the Hey Bud Get Hydrated Hemp Gel Moisturizer. It's basically one of those moisturizers that's completely, it's natural, it's vegan, it's cruelty free. It's everything you can possibly want in a moisturizer. And it has hemp, aloe vera, you know, it's got all the good stuff in it. So if you're looking for a new moisturizer, I do recommend this one. And I will take two pumps and put that straight straight on the skin the only thing i'm not keen on is the smell <laughs> like it doesn't smell horrific i'm not i'm not keen on it so yes i'm now gonna go and wait for like 20 minutes let this let the skincare soak in and do its thing so that when i come to put my foundation and primer and whatever on it doesn't just peel off instantly so i'll see you in 20 minutes is that a bit better? I zoomed you in a little bit because I felt like it's probably better that you were a bit closer. So, now that we've done the skincare, we're gonna move on to the base. This is probably my favorite part of doing makeup. I've forgotten to wet my beauty blender. Do you know what? That is the most annoying thing about doing makeup is constantly having to go and wet your flipping beauty blender. Bear with me. <sighs> She's back, she did it. 
So I always like to have like a pretty sticky base. That sounds really gross. I like to have a base that um, will grip because I have quite oily skin. So I like to use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. For all my oily gals out there, this stuff is the bomb. It's wonderful. I don't use loads. I use like a pea size amount and I'm just gonna literally stick that wherever. I get oily, which is my glue my whole face. Now the trick with that primer is, you, because it's like a power grip one, you have to let it do its thing for a couple of minutes. If you don't, it kind of just goes a bit strange. So bear with me with that one. If you use the primer, make sure you put it on and wait a couple of minutes, otherwise it does not do the same job. It's been a couple of minutes, so we're moving on to a foundation. Now I like to use a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer, but I have found that in terms of foundation, this is a really good one to use. If you like that kind of dewy, clean skin filtered look, this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Mont Blanc. Um, it's pretty much a good skin colour match. Sorry about the muckiness. It, for some reason, Mar Mars. NARS products just get so filthy. I promise you it's not just me. Anyone with a NARS product will say the same thing. So again, I'm literally going to take a very small amount. I'm going to dab that all over my skin. Might need a little bit more. And then just... I'm gonna need a little bit more on my head, on my big old forehead. I think I look very pale in camera. I look, I actually look like a ghost. Um, I promise you, I, not, I don't look that pale in person. Just for some reason, my camera is making me look. <laughs> Do you know what? That's the thing with like filming YouTube videos. If you ever want to see someone unfiltered, just go on YouTube. You can't filter a YouTube video, or at least I can't. So if you want to see me unfiltered, YouTube. I think you can see, although I still have very dark under eyes, it just. It just gets rid of the redness. And then the next thing I'm going to use is a nice little bit of concealer to hide those dark circles. And this is the NARS uh, creamy radiant concealer that they have in a mini form because I love a mini. And this is in light to vanilla. You can't see that. Sorry, I would try and show you, but, but I'm just not that talented. I only use a little bit of this, literally just to hide my under eyes and any redness, although I don't think I actually have. I don't have any blemishes or anything, so we're okay. So that's now given us, me fiddling with my mirror, that's given us a really nice base. I say a really nice base, you might think it's horrible. <laughs> Let me know. Uh, I'm now going to use the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand in, let me show you. This is Pink Pop. This is a really lovely, like, pretty colour. And I love a cream blush over a powder blush because I just feel like it looks a little bit more natural if you want that kind of clean girl natural look. Mm -hmm. And I take like a little dollop of this just high up. I'm no makeup expert. I don't know what I'm doing. I just do whatever looks good. And then I'm taking my beauty blender again and just blending that out. I feel like just having that pop of color makes you look alive. I know that I particularly with makeup can look very Walking Dead like, which, you know, I'm also um, gonna quickly take a makeup wipe and just wipe off the foundation that was on my lips because I just hate the feeling of it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, I feel like I've said that with each product. This is my favorite powder of all time. Yes, it's in a mini, but like I said, I love a mini. They're cheaper as well. This is the, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Everyone knows about this. Everyone and your mum and your dog and your cat. Just, just, just a good setting powder. This does the job. It's the only one I've ever found that genuinely makes my makeup last all day. And to be honest, your girl is a sweaty, she's not a sweaty girl. I'm an oily girl and I literally will just like start to oil up. So if you're an oily girl like me, I recommend it. And I'm just pressing this basically all over my face just to like set everything. Cause like I said, I am an oily girl and your girl needs to do this otherwise <laughs> she ain't gonna look too good to be honest <laughs> i just got powder all over my arm let me know if any of you still have this struggle every time i use powder i literally oh, it's not helping i literally just get it everywhere the only thing i find that really gets it off is like a makeup wipe all over my leg as well oh it's one of those days it's one of those days so now that i'm looking like a victorian school child i feel like it's time to put a little bit more color back into my base 
So I'm gonna take the, this is old, which is why it looks a bit gross. So I do apologize. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder, Powder Palette in light, I think it's, yeah, light to medium. And I'm going to take this color, if it will focus. I'm gonna take this color to warm up my face. And that's basically all I'm gonna do because I just look very pale. I literally just put a little bit on my cheeks to warm it up. I was a bit heavy handed there. I am now just using the, um, I've been using the, the oh, it's not a mirror, what is it? Re viewing finder thingy on my camera to see what I'm doing, which is not really, you know, the most. Um... I also like to take a little, a tiny little bit of a, of a contour pack of a contour colour and just take it down my nose. I don't feel like my nose needs that much doing, I can never really contour it, I just like to shape it a little bit. I don't know, I just do whatever I do. I feel like that's just typical makeup though, isn't it? Just, I don't know, I do whatever I do. Lovely. Okay, I am, I've just decided because I feel like I do look quite pale. I'm gonna take a powder blush, this is my favourite, this is Life's a Peach by L'Oreal. It's just a really pretty peach blush, as you can see. It's, it's been well loved, I'm about to hit pan, and I literally will just put that on the tops of my cheeks. I think you can see, it's just very glowy. I feel like that is what gives me my like clean girl aesthetic vibe, is the blush. I am putting it all over my forehead as well, rather than just my cheeks, because you girl wants colour. It just makes me stop looking like a Victorian school child who's got Spanish influenza and more like a human being. <laughs> and then, last but by no means least, this is gonna be thrown out soon. This is very, very old. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Palette. I actually can't show you the highlight color I'm gonna use because they're all broken. So if I held it up, it would fall out. But I have just ordered a Rare Beauty highlight. So when that comes, I'll show you. But I just take a little bit of highlight and put it on my cheekbones. Literally a tiny little bit. I was once a 16 year old who used so much highlight she looked like a disco ball. But now I'm a little bit more tame with it. So I just put it on, tap it onto my cheeks. I put a little bit on my forehead and then getting a brush. This, this is my favorite trick. I literally, I'll get close so you can see. I put a little bit on the tip of my nose and a little bit down the bridge. And it just gives you a cute little button nose. Or gives me a cute little button nose. Or I think it does, it might not, you tell me. And then putting it on. The thing with the clean girl makeup is it's meant to be minimal. And I think that's the key thing. It isn't meant to be tons of makeup. I feel like I have put tons of makeup on, but it isn't meant to be tons of makeup. And that's literally my base done. Uh, my base is completely sorted. There's nothing else I want to put on. I would like to put on a stronger blush sometimes. This is quite a pale blush, but this is much more of like a natural, glowy, clean girl. Chill, chilled out makeup. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to take is the Wee Shitty uh, Hydrating Dual Face Setting Mist. I love this. This will just bring life back into my face because the powder definitely like dulls it. And you'll see. So I, you have to shake it first because it's a dual mist. And then I'm just going to spray it. I did just use quite a lot. But that, honestly, the smell of this as well, like it just smells of cherries. What does it say? It's suitable for all skin types, enriched with cherry extract and hydrolauric acid. I think it's 10 pounds. I got this on um, ASOS and it was a tenner, I think. I could be wrong. I will try and leave all the products I've used down in the description below for you. So if you want to buy it yourself and try it out, feel free. Um, none of this is obviously sponsored. No one is sponsoring me. I'm not getting paid to tell you. I'm just showing you this is what I use. The next thing we're gonna do are my brows. My brows are quite saff. My cat is here. Hi, baby. She's like, I, she's such like an old woman. She hates noise. So if you, if I'm talking, which obviously I am, she's like, I'm leaving, goodbye. Um, so I'm taking a spoolie and I'm literally just gonna brush through my brows to get rid of any like product or whatever in them. I'm also gonna brush through my lashes quickly to get rid of any mist that was in them. I just had my lashes done, which is amazing. So it means I don't, I don't put mascara on or anything. And then I'm gonna be taking the Precisely My Brow by Benefit in the shade two. I love this stuff, it's great. You just, I'll actually show you. You roll it up, can you see? It's a very fine, there you go, it's a very fine little pencil. And I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I don't overdo them, I literally just, wherever there's a gap, I try and fill them in a little bit. I try, I do try and arch them actually, because my brows don't, 
my natural brows don't seem to have any form of like arch which is quite annoying i need to get my eyebrows done really my cousin bex is the only lash and brow lady i will see she has a shop in horsham for anyone that wants to know where i get them done and she's the only person i will trust with like doing anything to my face and she's based in west sussex in horsham if anyone is interested in checking her out there you go that's a bit better and i'm just going to do the same to the side and that is literally all i'm gonna do so i hope you guys enjoyed that is my like clean girl aesthetic no it's not i'm lying to you i'm lying where is it so sorry i'm such a fibber i also really like to take a lip balm this is a the perfect night's wonder balm by neon i use this as a lip balm you can use it as a bit but lip balm because it's super nourishing and i just take a little bit of this and also sorry about my painted fingers i'm not a finger painting kind of girly finger painting finger <laughs> you know what I mean? i'm just gonna pop a bit on my lips just so they don't look so like dry and crusty and that concludes my makeup look tell me what you think do you like it would you call this a clean girl aesthetic makeup look because this is this is what i would call a clean girl aesthetic makeup look i love it yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i really enjoyed filming this with you let me know what you think leave a comment leave a like subscribe and i will see you in next week's video thank you for being here love you so much bye